For this year's Kelly Blue Book compact sedan comparison, we kept the group tight and highly competitive, hitting the refreshed 2016 Nissan Sentra, the all-new 2016 Chevrolet Cruze, and the all-new 2017 Hyundai Elantra against Kelly Blue Book's overall best buy of 2016, the 2016 Honda Civic. Entering our test atop a mountain of goodwill, the Honda Civic largely lived up to our lofty expectations. While ultimately not the quietest or softest riding car in our test, the Civic nonetheless thrives on the open road, where its stability and 42 mpg EPA highway rating are free to shine. Our long trek through Southern California's mountains and coastline also gave our team time to lament the lack of driver's seat lumbar support, along with the infotainment system's finicky controls. Oh, that thing, I don't know. Yeah. And again, the optional 7-inch screen does look nice, and it includes an altimeter in case your Civic becomes airborne. Broadly speaking, the cabin impresses with handy storage and beverage accommodations, generous passenger space, and great outward visibility. That visibility proved helpful while searching for parking spots in California's lovely but crowded Mission Bay. We're also big fans of the Civic's brake hold feature, which lets the driver remove their foot from the brake pedal at stoplights. What can we say? Stop and go traffic saps our motivation pick up the pace and add some corners, and the Civic's balanced handling, highly capable 1.5-liter turbocharged engine, and small, quick-ratio steering wheel convert tarmac and gasoline into unexpected levels of fun. No, it's not perfect, but a sizable trunk, fun driving manners, handsome styling, and Honda's renowned reliability and resale values help the Civic retain its perch atop the compact car heap. How long the Civic can stay there is another question. Take the all-new Hyundai Elantra as an unexpected warning shot. Once the choice of bargain hunters, the Elantra has evolved into a legitimately good car. Whether stalking city streets or burning down interminable freeway miles, the Elantra is genuinely pleasant to drive, uncommunicative steering aside, thanks to a confident compliant ride, smooth throttle response, and an exceptionally quiet cabin. Inside that quiet cabin, a highly adjustable steering wheel and two-way lumbar support ensured comfortable driving positions for our entire test team. Mm, lumbar. We also found the optional 8-inch infotainment system, with its physical menu controls and clear interface, easy to use, while occupant space qualified as good but not great. There is, however, a spacious 14.4 cubic foot trunk out back, accessible via a cool optional automatic opening trunk. Less impressive is the Elantra's material quality exemplified by uncomfortable outboard armrests and cheap upper door panels and knee rests. Fuel economy in the Hyundai also trails cars like the Mazda 3, Civic, and Corolla, unless you spring for the Elantra Eco model, which comes burdened with a less refined seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. The Hyundai Elantra isn't a slam dunk, but it is a very good car that boasts better-than-average resale values, a lengthy 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, cool options like heated rear seats and automatic emergency braking, and a generally pleasing demeanor. In similar fashion, the all-new Chevrolet Cruze gets an awful lot right. It looks great, sports a bright, user-friendly infotainment system featuring Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it cruises comfortably. And no, I'm not making some cheap cruise pun. And yet, despite having the lowest base price, this particular Cruze's as-tested price rang in more than $1,200 higher than the next most expensive car in our comparison even after accounting for the $1,000 RS package, which, for the record, looks great. Lacking adjustable driver's seat lumbar support, a dynamic cruise control option, or a roomy back seat, the cruise struggles to justify its price premium. And as long as we're complaining, when it worked, the optional lane keep assist more or less bounced the vehicle back across the lane like a grown-up version of Disneyland's Autopia ride. Not helpful. All that on the table, we admire the Chevy's fundamental driving manners its smartly tuned suspension, quick steering, responsive and powerful turbocharged engine, and fast shifting six-speed automatic help extract maximum fun from winding back roads. While a hushed cabin, well-sorted ergonomics, and a shockingly unobtrusive automatic engine start-stop system elevate dull commutes. If you don't mind a tight rear seat with an excessively vertical seat back, and you can find one for a good price, the Chevrolet Cruze has bountiful goodness to share. Unlike the all-new Elantra and Cruze, the updated 2016 Nissan Sentra has merely been refreshed. Peek beneath its updated grille and fenders, and you'll find a platform that's beginning to show its age. 
Both the Civic and Cruze outclass the Sentra, where sporty driving is concerned, though a gentle ride and fairly quiet interior make Nissan's compact an agreeable commuter. Supporting that agreeability are cozy and supportive front seats, the roomiest back seat in our test, and upgraded materials for the 2016 model year. Meanwhile, the Sentra's 15.1 cubic foot trunk bests its three competitors, while 60-40 split rear seats fold nearly flat, revealing a conveniently wide pass-through. Along a lengthy and varied test route, we appreciated our car's optional adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning, and 5.8-inch infotainment screen, though that last bit could benefit from sharper graphics and the addition of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. We also noted that in addition to having the least powerful engine in our comparison, the Nissan Sentra is the second least efficient contender, and comes saddled with a continuously variable transmission that contributes to droning engine noises at aggressive throttle positions. Truthfully, the Nissan Sentra is a fine car, but it takes exceptional efforts to win a claim amongst such a rapidly improving, highly competitive field. And that is a concise glance at our 2016 compact sedan comparison. If you crave even deeper insights about each vehicle on our test, simply explore our complete comparison coverage.